Hey everyone, Dan here. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. And keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence, put in the work for yourself, and make your decisions based on that. Enjoy. All right, folks, here we are on Thursday, February 8th. We're going to take a look at a firm today. So with earnings coming up, I thought we'd come in and see if it does have a big reaction where it might catch some support or resistance and what levels might come into play. Now, it has been through this range and many ranges before. So I did scroll left and pull these ranges from here. You know, these make a lot of sense to me. You see, if it does take a strong dive <laughs> off of a tall building um, at earnings, you know, at this 31 08 level certainly played a strong role through here um, you know that's pretty far away 4166 is much nearer in but you see the strength that that had previously um, the nearest in level 4885 you see the support and resistance that that caught uh, back here and then 5664 that's pinned in here and 6787 up here so we'll see if it you know gets through any of these levels or you know it could certainly go sideways is another option that I wouldn't discount um, you know it has run up quite a bit into earnings there's a gap down here as well so just be aware of that um, and I'm sure there's a few other gaps um, but I would <laughs> I'm most interested in these levels as they are um, for the time being. So so we'll see, um, you know, how folks feel based on the report and this huge run from, as you see down here, 862 at the beginning of the year um, and then kind of double bottomed and just took off like a rocket ship. And so we'll see how folks feel, you know, with that type of movement versus what they get in their earnings report and you know how much they feel is priced in or not and what they want to do with uh, the price after they know the information so on here I pulled in some ATR levels you know so we could just sort of see of note that it is triggering on the TTM squeeze indicator and it's been doing so for quite a few days so that's pretty interesting to have it triggering into earnings is always sort of a treat uh, and it had been pinned to the mid-range of the channel through most of the triggering and now it's starting to push up off of it toward the upper bound of the channel so you know what that means as we get into earnings we'll see we'll see if it fires based off of the earnings move um, and you know which direction it goes now um, this is a few ATR levels based on the the swing trading type um, so if you trade if you change the trading type it changes the levels but as it sits here you know this is at about 50 you know a little bit above 50 and then the full ATR level um, 55 96 so those are upside levels and then to the downside um, you know you have the call trigger at 44 16 and then th this is at about 40 you know high 40s um, and then the puts you see 36 86 and then those levels are in here at about 31 and then all the way down to 2506 so we'll see if you know any of those come into play and what that looks like but you know you can see the big run out of the channel here came down and then just sort of pinned itself to the mid-range of the channel like we were just talking about um, but it is nice that now it started to trigger as we're approaching earnings and on the histogram you know looking for the time being at least that it's killed off all of the bearish momentum flipping slightly to bullish momentum again for the time being um, and we'll see how that all plays out as we get the report and as the market reacts to it all right folks i hope that your trading week has been going well and as always i appreciate you watching and i will see you in the next video